Ah, stop crying, Lily. This is entirely your fault. We told you several times to put on your face mask before we entered the store, but you never listened to us. But mom and dad, I didn't want to wear a mask because I didn't ever want to make wear a face mask while inside the store. That is not the point. Nobody is making you wear a mask. A lot of places require everyone to put on a mask before entering because it's their policies. Not only did, not only did, not only you didn't wear your mask inside the store, you even threw a tantrum and destroyed things. Because of what you did, I'm afraid we will be fined thousands of dollars. And there's also another possibility that we may end up on the news. Can we go back and get groceries? Absolutely not. You destroyed a lot of things in the store. But I'm really, 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 really sorry. Can we go to another grocery store like Safeway or Kroger? Absolutely not. We are going straight home, and because of what you did, there will be no TV, no dessert, no going to Sally's house for three weeks. And we're also going to teach you a lot of lessons on how to behave yourself when going places, like going out to eat, going to the grocery store, and so forth. I am afraid we are going to have to pay at least fifty thousand dollars for the damages done to Albertsons, and if that is the case, you will get grounded for six weeks. When we get home, you are going to immediately go upstairs to your room, and like Mom just said, you will not be having dessert afterwards. And furthermore, no more grocery stores for you until you can behave and comply with whatever policies the store he is. <sighs> Go upstairs to your room now and think about what you did. Your dad and I will be up in twenty minutes to discuss it with you. Wah! Ah!